YouTube, Mithrilla here again, and uh, welcome back to my playthrough through Undertale. Uh, where we left off, you saw me die a whole bunch of times in the last episode, and I think I made it to Toriel's house? I want to say that's where this is at. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. That just sounds really good. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh, thank you. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, she's so nice. Oh. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Oh, I don't like it in my own room. It's it's red, and I have stuffed animals. What's here? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Huh, I can turn the light off if I want. So go to sleep. Oh, there's a hat. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh. What's over here? A blue room. Just a regular old bucket of snails. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Yeah, I do. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Encyclopedia of subterranean plants, you open to the middle. Taifa, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong sea pots, commonly more known as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel Sockdor. Hmm, interesting that the yellow flowers are kind of the Ah, the cactus. Truly the most suitable of plants. <laughs> mm, let's see what's down here. Room under renovations. I can't go in there. Well, let's go downstairs. Interesting how this is a yellow room with only little splots, splotches of red. Oh, it's Toriel. Hi, Toriel. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Wow. Um. Thanks, Toriel. Seems a bit much. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? Nothing. Talk to me again if you need anything. Trapped behind the barrier, fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth, we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Hmm. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. For some reason, there is a brand named chocolate bar in the fridge. There are some wipers stuck in the drain. <laughs> nice little details. Let's see, let's go downstairs. What's down here? Oh, I think you should play upstairs instead. What's down here, Toriel? Is, are those the skeletons that live in your house because you're a serial killer? I want to see what now it's over here. Because I didn't explore over here earlier. It's a Freddy. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Oh, it's 
it's a city. You found the toy knife. Okay, so I can't actually go down there, but... I apparently have a knife now? Weapon at three made of plastic or rarity nowadays. I don't think I should equip that though. Oh, hello! Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? this work. I have to do something. Stay here. What do you have to do now that I asked you how to leave the ruins? Where did you go, Torio? Did you go down here? Hi. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. What? What? Why? No, I don't want you to destroy the under... I don't want you to do this. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Mm. Should I follow her? I think I have to, but... If I don't... I need to be able to get home at some point, don't I? I'll go find her. You want to leave so badly. Hmph. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. But, 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 no! I just want to talk to you. Ooh. Toriel takes a deep breath. Now it's best for you. I don't want to hurt her. I 
you can. Eventually you will reach an exit. No. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. Hee hee hee. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hat thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, hee hee. She couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. <laughs> Screw you, Flowey. Screw you. <sighs> Screw you, Flowey. Oh, I guess that was just a tutorial. Understand that it's a tough looking branch, it's too heavy to pick up. Is there someone following me? in the hand truck. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, 
He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick! Behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Greek Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Huh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping you, lazy bones. All you do is sit and boot up. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! Come on! You're smiling. I am and I hate it. Ugh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone! <laughs> he tells dad jokes. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> They tell dad jokes, that's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going, he might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Oh god, no. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. So it's like a hamburger stand? Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Alright, the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save and end the video here. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me for this video, my run through Undertale. If you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe. As always, have an awesome day, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!